Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson. Welcome back to my channel. The goal of this channel is to help you guys edit your photos and videos professionally, but for free. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys the most easy way to use a green screen in DaVinci Resolve. So you can use it in the Fusion tab as well. You can key it out. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use the color tab because it's the most easy and quickest way to do this. So let's go. Right, and here we have the screen and we've got two clips. So these are two individual clips. And you need a clip using a green screen and then you need a clip in the background that basically films everything behind the green screen. Otherwise, this effect won't work. And then what you need to do is you need to bring the clip with the green screen on top of the clip that you want to show because this is what we're going to key out. So let's go back to the start of the clip. And we've got Nacho over here. He's like uh, a role model for right now. He's like the model of this video. I'm going to hit the color tab. We're in the color tab right now. And what we need to do is we need to use the qualifier. And then we need to click on the greens. And you see that the greens are being selected right now. We're going to add an alpha output by hitting the right mouse button and then add alpha output. We're going to connect uh, these dots together. There you go. And now you see that it's not looking very great, but we'll change that. First, I'm going to flip it around. And now you see that this has got some borders. Now let me play through the clip and show you guys what happens. So we see that the green screen is very dirty. You can still see a lot of green, but you can change that by changing these words. So if I clean up the blacks, there we go. And I can clean up the whites as well, but I won't do that right now. You can increase the blur radius all the way up to 2000 if you have to. There we go. And you can change the in and the out ratio. So I'm going to put the out ratio on minus 79 because that looks fine. Let me go back to the beginning of the clip and let me play through it and show you guys what happens. There we go. So now you see me eating right here. You do see a little bit of green over here, but it's just to demonstrate you guys how it works. I'm going to play through it again. I'm moving it to the right and now the dog returns again. And that's a quick and dirty way to use a green screen. It's not perfect when it comes to the finesse of this video, but this is just simply to show you guys how that technique works and the stuff you can do with it. So let's summarize it a little bit. You need a standard clip of the scene that you're shooting that you want as a background. Then you need to keep the scene the same and use a green screen to cover something up if you want to make yourself or a dog or anything invisible or you want something to shine through it, just that part. And you need to make sure that the green screen is evenly lit and all the wrinkles are gone to make sure that the effect that you see happening right now that you still see a little bit of green will be minimized and it will be easier to work with if you've got any questions about this tutorial let me know in the comment section down below i've got another green screen video which i'll link up here it's not a da vinci video but it's a way to show you guys how you can use a green screen technique and for this week there's only one more thing left for me to say which is make love to the like button consider subscribing if you haven't already Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!